Kevin Smith behind Leah Block. <laughs> point no two. I was completely sideways yeah. in that corner. Yeah. I was like, I swear this is slower. But apparently in the Crown Vic world, um, it's not. Ready? That was a ringer. Ready. Welcome back to a show that's not a show, that's kind of a show, that's really a show, that's not a show. But it's still a show, because we're making it. We're gonna use that. That's right, that's our open, because Jolly is editing this show. Oh my gosh. Jolly's editing as show. we're going. No! Please! All right, ready? Quiet on set. Welcome back to the show that is officially not a show, and definitely not tangents. It's a big week this week. It is. Big, big week. We have brought back the Hoonigan Project Garage bam, bam, bam. channel. Yeah. We brought back a whole channel. We know you guys are missing the builds. This is where you're gonna get it. You're gonna get the really basic stuff. You're gonna get one day builds, quick fix, all this stuff. If you missed yesterday's episode, go check it out on the new channel. And tomorrow, we will be revealing all of our Gymkhana grid builds. In case you missed the big announcement on 4-3 day, we are bringing back 10 blocks Gymkhana grid. Sign up, sign the damn petition. In case you don't know what Jim kind of grid is, here's an example of the course. Jim kind of grid is essentially a head-to-head -head race where two competitors race at the same time on a mirror course. It's essentially a Jim kind of timed race. But this episode, this episode is all about Leah Block. That's right. This week, why are you clapping? And then we raced the Freedom 500. That's right. We went out to the Freedom oh, right, Factory. Oh, right. he, he raced it. So it's like I Leah Block. I was there, I was there. The story's really about Leah, yeah. let's be honest. Because Leah went out there and she blew everyone away. It was crazy. Her first time ever her on an oval. Her first time on an oval. Her first time driving a Crown Vic, ever. Just the vehicle itself. I mean, I don't know how many people think about like Crown Vic's as being a It's real a race car. <laughs> it's a race car. You're wrong. Crown Vic's a Actually, race you've car. you've done a lot of Crown Vic racing. I have. Because you've done oval racing, but you've also done Crown Vic Rally Cross. That's right. That's Before, right. Before like the whole Crown Taxi Vic. Cross, which I won. This is the most fun oh, ever. <laughs> Who won? Ah. No way! But that's not important. The fact is that Leah was out there. We were racing at the Freedom 500, and it was the most stacked lineup of drivers ever. Ever. They had Vaughn Gittin Jr., BJ Baldwin, Travis Bucky Lassick, Travis Pastrana, Cletus himself, Ronnie Renner. It yeah, was it was honestly race car drivers. And then Leah, who's also a race car driver, but I think, I think it goes race car drivers and then you. Yeah. Keyboard man. I'm a pretend race car driver. But the thing is, Leah went out there, she kicked ass. We filmed a little story about it. It was pretty cool. And there's a little bonus at the end of the race too that Cletus helped put together. So big shout out to him, the whole team at the Freedom Factory. It was a really, really good time. Here's how the story goes. All right, welcome to the Freedom 500. Everyone's got Crown Vicks. And can you give me a little, uh, uh, what did right, you say? So what, what changed from this year? Yeah, so we got police interceptor Crown Vic on some good old Nitto tires. We got NOS Nitro system on them. We cut the, the uh, cats out of them, tuned them, put a roll cage in them, some seat belts and window net. And we got 21 racing today for 100 laps straight. Only one winner goes home with a supercharged aerial Adam. All right, welcome, welcome to the Freedom Factory in Florida. And we got Leah Block out here. So for those of you that may not know, super quick rundown, it's Crown Victoria's on a three eighths of a mile of an oval. And it's a lot of cars on a small track. It's gonna be a lot of bumping. Job number one, decorate the cars. So we got out here. Thankfully, Garrett had a, a, a nice little, little bucket of spray paint. So Leah, Took it upon herself to decorate her own car. <sighs> Went a little wild, you know. Bang! Okay, we got we got a little crown going, American Racing logo. Look at cheetah? inside outside. Oh my gosh! You Here's the reveal. The cheetah, oh, cheetah. oh okay, that's that's what's up. I do have the NRG <laughs> cheetah print, which inspired oh my, my artistic form. I love it. Oh, yeah. I love it. It's great to see you here. There's some people with a lot of experience out here, and a lot of like uh -huh. straight up professional race car drivers. B.J. Baldwin, yep. Vaughn Gittin Jr., mm -hmm. Travis Pastrana, oh Bucky Lassick. Oh, no. Oh my god. Oh That's my great. God. Oh my god. And then you got Sleeper, you got Kevin Smith, KSR oh. Kevin. So right now we got the cars decorated. We're gonna get out, cut a couple practice laps because I've never been on this track. Leah's never been on this track. We don't get to practice in our own cars. We have to practice in 
some uh, some cars around here. The biggest thing on this race, tire management. So I'm kind of glad that we're not uh, chewing away on our own cars. And the watermelon, how you feeling? So good. Let's see you practice. Oh, coming out hot out the gate, dang. We're about to start qualifying. Leah is row three, I'm row four. See how we get in the pack, it's gonna be interesting. It is, I mean, even they told us like they might switch the start order. They might invert the field. So if you qualify first, you might start in the very back, which would be a very interesting race. But we'll see, we gotta qualify first, so we're gonna see what times we can put down. All right, so once that green flag waves, these are time laps. They get two time laps, that is the format. I'm digging those white walls on Leah's car right there. It's pretty good. The I'm digging the white walls and the drip. You call it a Dalmatian, but she corrected us with the drip. It's <laughs> the drip. Okay. Look at this. Guess what? Your number one qualifier, Leah Block. Leah Block with a 19.883. Best Cletus McFarlane with a 19.89. All right, our next qualifying session. The 55 looks like Ron, Mr. Ron Carr, Ron Sarris from Hoonigan. I was, what? You qualified first? As of right now. What? No way. That was so slow. No way. First place, me. Second place, JH Diesel, 0.19. Kevin Smith behind Leah Block, 0.2. No I was like, do you want some advice? She's like, do I need it? Obviously not. Leah just qualified fourth, fourth, with all these drivers, every single one of them. Absolute I ripper. I was out there and Travis was like, just don't break. And I was like, huh. okay, don't break. I was completely sideways yeah. in my corner. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I swear this is slower. But apparently in the Crown Vic world, um, it's not. All right, we're about to get started with the race itself. We just finished qualifying. I finished ninth mid-pack for a keyboard guy. Not too bad. I qualified pole, uh, but then Cletus just informed all of us that it's going to be a reverse order so i start 21st if you're not first you're last literally so uh qualified first starting last it's gonna be one fun freaking night
got you. You get your seat belts on. You look so tired. Oh man. It's so much based on luck. Every single lap you're a different position, like something always happens and I think I was in most every crash. I was I was driving behind Leah at one point and she was it looked like she was doing a burnout on the straight. You were just there was so much tire smoke coming off the back of your I car. Mean, and then they finally gave me a car, a new car. <laughs> But guess what? It was Travis's old car that he had already like traded out. It was brutal. It's a brutal experience. But hey, it was. you qualified really, really, really well. That was amazing to watch. I myself, things happen. I had to pit a bunch of times. I uh, got a flat tire at one point. But you know, it's so fun. I would do it all over again. So big, big thank you to Mr. Cletus McFarland for putting on this whole event and all the staff here at the Freedom Factory. This is amazing. I hope we can come back and keep chasing that W. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first official drone show at the Freedom Factory here in Bradenton, Florida. Tonight, we've got a super special show for you, and you will be seeing hundreds of drones flying through the air tonight to do a special tribute for the man we all know and love, Ken Block. We hope you guys enjoy. You can see Leah was fast. She was fast. Yeah, I mean, she if she didn't fast. have the bad luck, she would have probably done pretty well. That's right. I'm just I gonna say it. She would have won. She, she would have won. Very, very possible. Another place we saw a lot of speed was we were both at the Hundred Acre Wood Rally, which, if you guys don't know, it was the rally that Ken always dominated. I mean, this guy won there six times in a row. So it was super special to go there and be able to watch Lucy and Leah both race there under Blockhouse Racing. Right. And uh, Leah kind of kicked ass. She did, cool. once again, in a car that she has never competed in, a turbo rear-wheel drive sequential way, BRZ. How cool is it to see her in a rear-wheel drive car? On a I know, I know. It, me and this guy feel strongly about rear-wheel drive yeah. making a big comeback in US rally. It's somewhat affordable, and it looks way cooler than front-wheel drive. Like, I get it, front-wheel drive is the path to all-wheel drive, which is the path to WRC, but be honest with yourself. You really think you're gonna go race the WRC? No, get a rear-wheel drive car. More Slide sideways, yeah, more better. Fun. So anyway, anyway she, she did great. Yeah. So she finished ninth overall, but she finished second in class, but the most impressive part was on the power stage, which is where everyone's supposed to give it their hardest, right? That's the last stage you can get additional points for. She finished fifth overall. That's right, in a rear-wheel drive, car she finished fifth overall up against a bunch of big hitter cars and as you can see from the footage she played homage to her dad's first livery the snow camo 
from his 2004 Subaru SDI. One wow. of my favorite. It's also the livery that I met Ken in because that was the livery on the Gumball 3000 car, which is how I met Ken. It means a lot to us. It means a lot to Leah. So what we did was we did a whole pack of gear. Leah's first uh, major drop of gear. You can get it at hoonigan.com. It's available for pre-order right now. Anyway, uh, yeah, awesome to see her back out and uh, yeah, she's gonna be around the whole season this year. Speaking of rally stuff though, there's like a oh, new yeah. rally contender you got to drive? There is, there is. I got to drive the new Toyota Corolla GR. And can just, just, cut, just, cut to the, just cut to the most important part. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed another episode of Not A Show, definitely not tangents. Next time, bye. We ain't, we ain't done yet. Don't forget, uh, yesterday we filmed the episode of... Ah, oh, shit. It's <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... I don't know. What? 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 Yeah. You gotta get yourself. Quack, 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 quack. And don't forget, yesterday we filmed the... We... Uh, <laughs> watch the episode yeah, of Hoonigan... No, that's yeah, we, we relaunched the Hoonigan Project Cars Garage channel. Wait, what? You guys can just figure this out. Go for it. Go for it. the video. Like, we could just yeah, roll it and figure it out. <laughs> Yesterday we relaunched the Hoonigan Project Cars channel, but it's now called Hoonigan Project Garage. <laughs> yeah. Keep going, guys. Keep going. You almost got it. Yeah, you almost, you almost got it. And we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs>